Good evening, friends, and welcome to McMiniman's Grand Lodge Hotel. I'm here in Portland, Oregon, enjoying an evening with some friends, Lish and Addison, and the three of us are here to experience what might be a haunted evening in one of the most haunted, some say the most haunted, building in all of Oregon, right here. It's an old Masonic Lodge. It was built in the early 1900s, and a lot of people have experiences here that would make most people not want to stay the night here, but that's what we're going to do, is stay the night in one of the attic rooms. A very spooky place. Come on in, I'll show you. Room key. Let's go see what this looks like. Oh, very fancy. Looks like there's a pretty large bathroom as well. Very nice. This room is called the Left Hand of Darkness. That's what I'm trying to get because that monitor. Okay ish, but like coming from. Doing a little exploring right now? Walk around the basement here. You can just walk around anywhere in this hotel. It is trippy. Wow. All over the pipes, through the hallways here, all over the the columns here. There's artwork painted all over the place. There's these really cool mosaics. A lot of places through the whole building. I told you I was hanging out with some friends. I'm here with Addison and Lish. We're uh, exploring. Hanging out. This is a really cool hotel. It's because of Addison that I knew about this place. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Are we double vlogging right now? We yes, are double. Are. We're double vlogging. <laughs> this dress world party time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I, was, I just it sound like Wayne's World. That's why I was. Well, like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> you, know, you know that uh, yesterday was the 20th right. anniversary of Wayne's World. Was it? 20th, 25th. It's one of those. Yeah. Well, we got to give them. Well, we got to give them something good. We got to give them good content. Then have to. Yes. Let's go do some haunted stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. We can drink these in the the soaking pool, so we can actually take them and just chill. Oh, by the right pool. on. Yeah, and they got a ghost log as well too. Oh, so we can get to the ghost log. <laughs> yeah, and what were you gonna say? The most haunted. Uh, room two thirty three is supposed to be the most haunted. You can hold on. Okay. Perfect. All right. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. So friends, there is so many instances of ghosts and hauntings in this hotel that they have a log with the guests experiences written down in it so we just got a hold of that let's go take a look the ghost log <laughs> all right so if you gotta you gotta have a good one it says property of mcminimum's grand lodge return to the front desk they found so apparently these are all filled with just stories of people that have stayed here. And there's a lot of them, actually. <laughs> 2018. Oh, my gosh. 2019. Yeah, so, let's see what the most I mean, recent log was. 2007. Okay, so this is going to be chock full of just craziness. Wow. This hotel is really awesome. They have all these rooms with fireplaces in them. And they just start to fire wherever you want. It's very... Very nice. But that apparently is a picture of this little girl. Yeah. Yeah. is a group of brothers that, it's two brothers actually, that own several bars. They take older buildings and turn them into breweries or bars. And this is one that's this old Masonic home. Now it has a bar and all these rooms in it. And it's a very cool place. You can buy beer right at the front desk, hang out in any of the rooms that they have set up. But this one we're hanging out in, reading some ghost stories. Yes. This is finding some good ones. Flush the toilet, exited the stall, and then proceeded to stand outside my stall. Black shoes, leggings. Check this story out. I'm sitting eating dinner and decided to take a walk down the hall with my husband. We went into one of the vacant rooms and the curtain began to move. We thought it was just a vent, but once we got closer, we realized nothing could be causing 
the movement. So we ran towards the door when suddenly something grabbed me by the ankle and dragged me back in. My husband ran towards me and grabbed my hand and we ran out of the building. I lifted up my pant leg and there was a bruise of a hand around my ankle. Oh my goodness. So Addison, tell me, you've been here a bunch of times. Yeah. This place is, you believe it's totally haunted, right? A thousand percent. Like not only is it the most haunted this place in all of Oregon, but they have a ghost log book. I think when you come here, you just have that like weird eerie feeling, that sense of just someone's watching you. And I don't know, like I've been here enough. I've seen some weird things. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the ghosts are camera shy. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna so find out. Right now, we're gonna walk down to this into the hallway. You, you say there's something down here we should see. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's totally haunted. Look, okay. this is the the most hauntedest place that I believe. Other people might say something different, but let's go. I'm gonna show you. Come right. check it out. Let's go. It comes around, right? Like, it's <laughs> always one of the supernatural. Like... Try to be careful. I swear we got it. That thing watches you. Mm -hmm. I say in this room, I say in this room, and I think maybe that room. They're all they're all the same rooms, but you'll hear this elevator open and close air all night, all night, but no one's there. It's so weird. Oh, it's like cold. It's cold. It's very it's cold. chilly down here. This is why maybe I get freaked out, is because it gets colder. And it's like not supposed to be colder. But it is. <laughs> You found a ghost? No, but like, look at this guy though. <laughs> He's dressed as one. <laughs> so might every as close as we get. I, I just had this eerie vibe. See that shower light right there? Lish, you see that? You see that shower? Every time I walk by, it's sketch. I swear to God. It's working at me. Japanese style soaking pool. This All right. is the best part this of Big Man One scary thing, one time I was here like a couple weeks ago and I heard this old man like whispering in my ear and I immediately turned around and no one was there. And my girlfriend was like, are you crazy? And I swear to God, there was an old man like, you know how someone's like, hey, how you doing? And it was like, but it was weird. And I thought he was, it was anyway. What's the whisper song? Awesome. And then you hang up all your like, towels all up here. And then you just, nice. It's nice and warm too. You can't see me very well, but I'm walking around the outside, just checking out some features of the building. It's kind of spooky out here. You know, nothing over the top, but it is a little weird. We're going to one part of the property though that we're told is the most haunted. And a lot of the employees don't even like coming out here. It's like the children's wing. It's kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. You tell me these rocking chairs don't rock. I climb up the Climb up the guy. Climb up the ramp. <laughs>
I got it. She got me. Can you imagine? We're on our way down to the soaking pool. The hot tub's really what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> really nice hotel. Now, all within this hotel, there's a theater, and like a couple different bars, and some other things too. It's an interesting place. Right now, they're playing Sing too. Never heard of it. They play some other movies occasionally. <laughs> McMinimins makes their own beer and they serve it to all their locations. I don't know how many they have, but they have a lot of different locations. It's a pretty cool concept that's going on. The soaking pool was very nice. I'm just wandering around the halls and exploring this old Masonic home. Kind of creepy. They say that that lady, she lived in this building for a long time and that's the ghost that haunts these hallways. I love the posters all over the hallway here. They're like jam bands that I really like. They even have a Grateful Dead poster. Check this out. Cool. Well, good morning, friends. It is a beautiful morning in Forest Grove, Oregon. The evening didn't turn out so spooky. Got up at three o'clock in the morning to get some footage, even uh, you know set the alarm, and we all made an attempt, but nothing was there to be seen. Unfortunately, for you ghost hunters out there, well, I have nothing really to show you yet. The day's not over. We're going to have to check out here shortly. But before we check out, we're going to walk around this hotel one more time in the daylight hours, see if there's anything we missed. And there are some cool features about this place I'd like to show you. We have some other unique art. Something else I learned was that all the books that you see laying around in the hotel and some are in the rooms were all found here in the building when they were remodeling. Here's a nice photo of some of the residents of the Masonic home back in the early 80s hanging out at a picnic, just out back. Each of these rooms are named after a person or a book. Uh, some, I think that's all I've seen so far. And you have a example here, the Lavender Lady. This is the lady who you see painted on the end of the hallway here and the, the doorway to the steps going to the attic. That was her room, that's where she died. They say that you know, she haunts these hallways, as I said before but I don't think she does. I just don't think so. Very detailed mosaic. This is a very pleasant place. In my experience, my grandparents lived in a Masonic home in Springfield, Ohio, and they had a great experience there. It was very positive. Good things happened their whole life. And I imagine the same story goes for the people here. I can't imagine a negative ghostly experience happening here. And even though I and I'm pretty sure my friends didn't experience anything either, I could I can understand why you get a creepy vibe here in the place, but I, I don't think it's negative and that's just me and the way I feel about it. But I'm not creeped out in this place in any way, shape, or form. The bar is empty. The restaurant is now. I'm going to go in here and join my friends. 
our friend Addison had to go a little early, so it's just Lish and I. Lish, did you experience anything last night? You know what, though? I did hear some strange noises that was not the air conditioner. Um, I couldn't mm. tell you what they were, but I was up at three in the morning, and I did hear some noises, maybe just creepy old house noises, but I didn't see anything, unfortunately. Well, I discovered what those noises were, I think, actually. Well, I went walking around, and I, I found that somebody was actually doing work and using a hammer. I'm not kidding. What? Yeah. So somebody in the maintenance people were aware of it, but it was they were just doing some work and it made a lot of noise at three in the morning. Are you serious? I'm serious. Dang it. Yeah. Way to ruin not my that paranormal anything, experience. <laughs> not that anything wouldn't happen here and I don't mean to ruin your experience. <laughs> I know, but oh well. So it's just hammering. That's just all. hammering. Just hammering. And, uh, I forgot to order some decaf coffee. Decaf coffee? You got it. Very pleasant place. Not all the rooms have their own bathroom. So some of the rooms on the lower floors here just have shared bathroom facilities. The upper floors have their own, but it's, it makes it a little more affordable for people. Well, this is nice. A sitting room. As they offered last night to light any fireplace in the building for us, this is clearly one of those rooms. They said there are many rooms with, with the fireplace. That's very cool. Very cool place. I like the setup of this hotel. I like the way that they operate this. It's just a nice experience. This has been my favorite hotel stay so far this year. I've stayed in some really cool places, especially that one in Gatlinburg. That was really nice. But as far as just a hotel and a place you're gonna stay for one or two nights, this Grand Lodge is awesome. If you're in the Portland, Oregon area, definitely make your half hour drive out of the way of the city and check this place out. It is really awesome. Their bar serves the McMinimins beer, of course, and you can't go wrong with that. And the staff are extremely nice and very helpful with questions and you know, for ghost hunters like like myself and you, they would be very kind to answer all your questions and not get annoyed. It's just been a really cool place. And just that you can walk around to all these rooms and check out things in the secret rooms upstairs. You gotta push on the right paintings and enter those rooms <laughs> with, with your own imagination leading the way. It's pretty cool. So I enjoy it. hotel does have a spa, but it is closed. And of course, they have the gift shop. Oh, postcards. Wow. I like these stone coasters. Very cool. Cool books, nice. Friends, you know it. I'm definitely gonna be picking up some postcards. Please. Friends, the McMinimins Grand Lodge is awesome. I highly recommend staying out here, go off the beaten path a little bit and experience this place. It's very well worth it. You won't regret it. I appreciate you joining my friends and I on this haunted adventure to the Grand Lodge. I will see you in the next video.